Adaptive radiation is the origin of a whole set of new species from a common ancestor and within a short period of time because of their adaptation to distinct ecological niches. The most famous case of adaptive radiation is that of Darwin's finches on the Galapagos Islands. Yet the by far most species-rich adaptive radiations have occurred in the East African Great Lakes, Victoria, Malawi and Tanganyika. Here at the Zoological Institute of the University of Basel, we have specialized on the cichlid fishes from Lake Tanganyika, where more than 250 species have evolved within less than 10 million years. For this project, funded by the European Research Council, we spent many months in Africa to explore the cichlid fish fauna of Lake Tanganyika and to collect research samples for further investigation. Our collection of Lake Tanganyikan cichlids contains about 3,000 specimens. So basically, each of the 200 described species is represented by 10 individuals and in addition to that, we also collected about 50 undescribed species. In order to reconstruct the evolution of cichlid fishes in Lake Tanganyika, we sequenced the genomes of two representatives of every single species in that lake. These genomic data allowed us to resolve the complete timeline of cichlid evolution in Lake Tanganyika in a phylogenetic tree. We're in the stable isotope lab in the physiological plant ecology group. And for the Salzburger group, uh, we analyzed dried material from fish from Lake Tanganyika. And they used this information to look at the carbon and nitrogen isotope values of those materials to understand what types of food sources different fish were consuming at different uh, levels in the food web in the lake ecosystem. Finally, we used microcomputed tomography scanning to study morphological evolution in cichlids, focusing on the overall body shape and the pharyngeal jaw apparatus. This bony structure is situated in the pharynx of cichlids and is adapted to processing different food types. In an article published in the journal Nature, we identified specific pulses of accelerated morphological evolution, first in body shape, then in mouth morphology, and finally in the shape of the pharyngeal jaws. 